So today what we're going to do is introduce a concept called affiliate marketing. So maybe some of you guys know, well, actually, give me a give me a yes if you've heard of affiliate marketing before. Give me a no if you've never heard of it before. But what, just in case anybody hasn't heard of it, um, what affiliate marketing is, is you're selling products on the internet for somebody else, right? So all you do is you get somebody to buy the product and then you get paid a percentage of it. It's almost like selling something for a commission. So you don't have to deliver the product. You don't have to really do anything once the product has already been sold, right? And so um, the commissions range very greatly um, from certain affiliate products to others. So let's get, so, so let's define it here. So affiliate marketing is selling someone else's product. And sometimes you can sell someone else's product and the whole sales process basically is built out for you. And all you have to do is get somebody to click on a page and then that page and everything else from there on out will basically do the selling for you. And then other times you might have to do a little bit more of the selling yourself, right? So um, that depends on what product and it depends on the person that sells the product, how equipped they are. Some people are very well equipped and have all of that already for you. Others of them, you kind of have to figure it out on your own. So there's various types of products that you can sell as an affiliate. And I'll just tell you a few that I have experience with. There's probably just about any kind of product you can imagine that you can sell as an affiliate, but I'm gonna just go over a few that I've actually done. So one of them is info products. So that means courses, eBooks, online coaching programs, that sort of thing. This works really well for affiliate marketing because it's all online. Plus, it's basically 100% margin for the seller. So what that means is essentially that they are not they don't have to pay a lot of expenses in order to give an online course or to give a coaching program. And so if you're an affiliate for them, then chances are they'll be willing to pay you a pretty high percentage of the product price as opposed to if you're going to do like a, if you're selling a, a thing like a, a physical item online that they're only making maybe 20% profit margin because they have to pay the manufacturer for that thing. They mark it up and sell it to the person. Well, they don't really have that much room to pay you. Whereas info products, they do have a lot of room to pay you. So that's one that I really like. Another one is supplements. This one is really, really big right now. People are making a lot of money from this. It's similar to info products in that it's, it's sold in much the same way a lot of times. And when I say supplements, by the way, I mean health supplements. So it's vitamins and mineral concoctions that people take that has some benefit, whether it's weight loss or getting rid of some health condition or anything like that. So these oftentimes have a very high markup also. So they still, they do have to pay the manufacturer because they got to give the supplement to the person, but the amount that they're charging is oftentimes a lot higher than the amount that they have to pay. And so that gives you, gives a lot of room so they can pay you really good commissions. Another one is software, so it's especially software as a service. I really like this one because then you get paid every single month that the person re-ups the software. And I do this a lot myself just because I use a lot of software myself and I use a lot of software that I'm paying every month for. And so I generally, I just recommend the softwares that I use myself and the and it's, it's very convincing because I believe in the software enough that I'm a customer and I continue to pay my, for myself month after month. So it's really easy sell for me to say, hey, you should get this thing too. And if I give the person my affiliate link, then I get a percentage of whatever they're paying. Plus, this is another thing that's really high margin. So software companies can afford to pay you a pretty good commission. And then finally, the last one I'm going to talk about is Amazon. So you might have heard of the Amazon affiliate program that Amazon.com will pay you for like a certain percentage 
if you link to their sites. And you might notice this if you ever go on Google and you search for like the best something widget, like um, I won't do it here, but you see all these blogs that are that are like the top 10 best blenders or whatever. And then you go, you click on that, it comes up first in the search results, you click on that, and then you'll see there's a bunch of links to those best blenders. In fact, I'll, I'll show you, why not? I'll use that example. I, I think it'll work. I haven't tested this before. <clears throat> okay, so I got tomsguy.com best blenders in 2024. And if I go down and okay, best overall. And if I say view at Amazon, they are, <clears throat> if I click on it, I believe that I'm not sure where it is exactly in, but I think it's in these tags in the description. This is showing that if I buy this blender for 500 bucks, then they get a percentage of that sale. So you see that a lot with these, these Google results, right? Basically just blogs. And so like, if I go to, serious eats i bet you it's the same thing right it's a link to amazon and you, if you can see that tag at the bottom it's it's the same idea so <clears throat> that's one way to do it um amazon is pays very low commissions because they're already not making a high margin on a lot of these products plus it's the seller in amazon.com kind of have to have to share this among themselves, right? So there's already kind of an issue there. So, um, okay, so those are kind of the main product types that at least I have experience with. What I would, what I recommend is go for any of the first three. I wouldn't start with Amazon. The only exception being if you have a blog that gets traffic or if you have some sort of following already where you recommend physical products if that's the case then yeah you can make money with amazon it's just that you don't make very much money per sale so you have to make a lot of sales for it to be worth it to you now next question is how do you promote this thing right how do you promote when let's say you got an affiliate link how do you get people to go to the affiliate link? Now, this is a very deep subject and I'm not gonna go very much into it, but I'll give you a few uh, a few tips, like a, like a few different categories. So one is ads. So you can send, you can pay for ads on Facebook or YouTube or TikTok or whatever and send them to your affiliate page. Now, a lot of times the ad networks will not let you send directly to the affiliate page. So you have to put some kind of page in between, which, you know, if you guys are interested, then maybe we'll get more into that later on. But that's that's the basics of of how it works. Basic, you, you pay to get somebody to click on this to go to the page. And hopefully the amount of money that you're making is less than the amount of money that you are paying. Right. And if that's the case, then you're in a good situation because you can pretty much scale and just continue to scale, right? Like if you know that you're making, that you pay a dollar to get a click and then your average earning per click is a dollar 50, well then you just put more and more money into it. Excuse me a second, my wife is texting me. She is a, in a bit of a crisis. Some problems with the car, it sounds like. Okay. No big deal. <clears throat> so, um, okay, cool. So the first promo method is ads. And then the second is organic. So these are methods that you do not have to pay for. 
So for this, for example, the five best blenders, this is, this person is not paying for this, right? Because this is coming from Google, right? It's a Google organic search result. So what this person has done essentially is found a way to get his blog post to the top of Google for anybody who searches the term best blenders. And I'm not using Google, by the way, I'm using DuckDuckGo, but it's the same thing either way. And then you can also, you notice they have these shopping results up here. These are ads. These are, oh, actually, I'm, I could be wrong. Yeah, no, these are ads. So I've never done this kind of ad before, but this person is paying to have these up here. Now, chances are you're not gonna pay an ad for something like this just because your percentage that you make is so low. So probably it's like actually amazon.com or it's the seller of this particular thing is the one that's paying for this ad. You as an affiliate probably don't wanna pay for that kind of ads. But the organic means that you're not paying. It means that all oh, people just see your, you come up in the search results. So that's called, that's called SEO or search engine optimization. When you just basically you try to get things that people will search for. And then you can also do social media. Right. You can do Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and all of that stuff where people just see, see your stuff. Um, and maybe you have articles. Maybe you have, you know, sometimes you push it directly like, hey, go buy this blender. Or sometimes it's indirect, just like, hey, here are the five best blenders that I found. And then, and I really should stop using that blender idea because I don't recommend that you use Amazon, but with a software, for example, you say, okay, hey, I'm using this great software. Um, for example, to do this webinar, I'm using Kartra. So I might say, hey, go and go in and buy uh, Kartra because it's a great software and I love it and I use it for everything, which is true by the way. And actually, if you wanna see an example of that, Go to chrisshoot.com slash Kartra. And that is my affiliate link for Kartra. And you notice that it actually it redirects to this. And it's um and and so it's gonna give me credit if you sign up through my link. Now, sometimes, especially with software, you can get a special deal. So I can get people a 30 day free trial if they sign up for Kartra through me. Now, if you go to the regular Kartra website, it's gonna offer them a 14 day free trial, right? So I actually get a better deal for the person, which is nice because it gives me, like gives the person incentive to actually buy it through my link rather than just going to the, the site itself. Like if I go to, let me just type it in. I'll go to Kartra.com and try Kartra free. And, oh no, it's still a 30 day free trial. Maybe they changed that. It used to be that it was a 14 day trial and it used to be a dollar actually. It wasn't exactly free. So maybe they changed that, but sometimes they'll give you a special deal that you can send your people to. Anyway, so, you can also have, if you have a, um, well, not a following, like an email list. If you have people that are on your email list, like, you know, you guys are on my email list. That's how you're here. That's how you know about this. Well, I could say, hey, let me tell you about this great software called Kartra. Here's the link to sign up and you get a free 30 day trial, right? That's another way that you can do it. And then another way is in incorporate into your products, which that's a little bit more advanced. But if I have a, like I have a course, for example, that teaches you how to create a, or how to sell stuff online. And in that course, I use Kartra because that's how I do it. And so in the course is, is I have the link to my Kartra affiliate page. So that's another thing you can do. So, um, there are two different approaches to this as well that I want to talk about. There's kind of the short term approach and the long term approach. And if, by the way, this is all I'm kind of doing this overview stuff. So you have a little bit of planning to get started with. Right. Because that's going to inform all your decisions about like what you choose to promote, how you choose to promote it. They all have to tie together. 
right? So I'm kind of giving you the very broad level overview, and then I'm going to show you some specifics in just a minute here. So, okay, so the short-term approach is basically, I'm just going to try to get you to the page and hope that you buy, and then I'm never going to see you again, right? Where the long-term approach is, I'm going to build a relationship with you and if and I'm going to try to get you to buy this affiliate product. And if you don't buy it today, then maybe you'll buy it tomorrow. Maybe you'll buy it in a week. Or if you don't want to buy this, then I'll find some other products that might be useful to you. So this is building relationships with a group of people that are interested in a certain thing. Right. So for people who are interested in digital marketing, then. I can I build a list of people that are interested in that and I send emails or I send text messages that, you know, sometimes I have a, a product that I'm selling. Sometimes I'm sometimes I'm just providing value, right? Sometimes I'm just providing information that's going to help people so that they have a positive impression of me so that I'm showing that I'm someone that's worth listening to, et cetera, et cetera. So you can do either one. Like there's people that make lots of money short term and long term. Short term would be if you have an ad and you just try to get a dollar fifty per click and you pay a dollar per click. Like that's the short term. If you can get that, awesome. That's great. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Both ways work. So, with that said, now I want to give you a little bit of a demonstration. And so I'm going to go to a site called ClickBank which I have been locked out, logged out of. And this is one affiliate market marketplace. So if I go click on affiliate marketplace, this is a site that has a whole bunch of affiliate products hosted on it. And so I can go and look at different categories of offers that I can sell as an affiliate. Now you have to create an account first. So I have an account. It's really easy to create an account. You don't need to have any kind of special anything really just like sign up for an account like you would anywhere else. And so I could say like, what's interesting to me, health and fitness, e-business, e-marketing, spirituality, self-help, etc. So let's say, Let's say I'm interested, or let's actually, let's look at top offers. This is interesting. Now, the way that ClickBank works is it has, it's organized by this thing called a gravity score. So gravity score is a score that's given based on the number of people who are making sales of this product. So the top offer right now is this thing called Java Burn which is a health and fitness dietary supplement, which just judging by the name, I suspect that it's a weight loss supplement. And so if I look at the numbers here, it's, it's, uh, this is the highest gravity score, right? That's why it's at the top of the list. The next one is, is less than half, which is interesting. Um, although actually these aren't, aren't exactly ranked by gravity. So I can rank by gravity here. I'm not sure what their rank is. I don't know everything about this site. But what they're saying is that the do average dollar per conversion. So of somebody who buys this offer, chances are there's different like there's different amounts that you can buy. A lot of these you can buy one or you can buy three or you can buy five bottles of the supplement. And so the average dollars per sale is 148.98 and then future rebuild dollars is 74 dollars so that's people that buy the product and then two months later they decide to buy more of it then you get paid again right so 148 dollars per sale is pretty good and so i can see i can see they sometimes they'll say like this one, they'll say $5 plus EPC, that's $5 earnings per click. I, I would take this with a massive grain of salt. I don't believe that at all. But this, like these numbers are actually calculated by ClickBank 
this number is just put the, the just they they want you to sell their affiliate product right and so they kind of inflate the numbers so i never believe these but i do believe these and so i can if i click on this i can see what the actual product landing page looks like so this is what people will see when they click on your link and a lot of times these are video sales and so the, the, the video sales letters are nice because they do most of the selling for you. Like if you can get somebody just to click on your page, then they'll watch this video. And if this is a, like a highly ranked offer, that means the video is really good. You know, like it's really convincing to get people to buy the thing. And so if I look at like what is available to buy, it's these pouches of stuff. And so, and here are the, the prices. So this one's $69 plus shipping. This one's 147, this one's 234, right? So the our average was 148, which suggests that probably most people are buying this middle offer. So that's what your landing page is gonna look like. And then if I wanna promote it, I will go to the affiliate page and then go to this hoplink generator so you're going to have in your your clickbank you're going to have a account so my account is called dom the mar short for dominate the marketplace so i'm going to put that in my id you can put a tracking id i won't get into that today and then i can i have various options that i can do so there's like the vsl stands for video sales letter there's one with no autoplay. So what that means is that it, the video does not play automatically when somebody clicks on it, which is so probably this one, it does play automatically. Some ad networks will don't like that, right? Like they'll disapprove your ads if you do that. That's why they give you both options. And then remarketing and advertorial, they're just different. I'm not going to get into what those are exactly, but they're they're just different pages that you can send people to. So I'm going to just do main VSL, say I agree to service and generate hop link. And so this right here is my particular link that I can send people to. And when people go to that link and they buy, then I'll get paid. So let's take a look at that. Okay, here it is. And this one is actually different than the one that we just looked at, which is interesting. I was expecting it to be the same one. Chances are this is an updated page and chances are this is a better performing page. So if I click on it, then it starts playing a video and it does not have an option to buy right away, which probably means that you have to watch the video for five or 10 minutes or whatever, and then it'll give the person the option to buy. So anyway, I have this link right here, and I can send people to that link any way I want. I can send it in emails. I can, I can type it on a, on a business card and have people type it into their browser, although it's pretty you know, it's pretty long. I would do a redirect instead, like I did with my chrisshoop.com slash Kartra, which um, that I won't get into right now either. Um, but what else can you do? I mean, you can put it on your social media profile. You can put it in an ad. You can add directly. You can advertise to that page. Although some of the ad networks don't like these affiliate links. And so what you have to do instead is have a bridge page. So you when they click the ad, they go to another page that you've created yourself, and then they click something on that page, and then they go to this, this um, hop link, they call it, the affiliate page. So I think that's about as far as I'm gonna get into it. Well, actually, no, I'll, I'll, I'll go show you some of the other options here. So if you look at the top offers, this Sugar Defender, this is a supplement, Pure Revive is a supplement, so the first three are all supplements and you notice that a lot of them are supplements and then this one this one's a supplement this one's a supplement 
most of these, the best performing ones are supplements. And then except for this genius wave, which I actually don't know what this is, but it says it's something like spirituality, simple brain wave that revs up your brain power. Okay, and this is a big long page that you have to scroll through. I don't know what the product is. It's a, okay, so this is a, looks like an audio, like an audio recording. It's probably like a hypnosis or a meditation that, that makes you have special powers or something. And so that one, yeah, you're looking at a smaller average dollars per conversion because it's a cheaper product. Some of these have upsells, by the way. So that one was like $30, but you see the average dollars is 46. That's because after the person buys the first product, then they say, hey, would you also like to buy this other thing? And some people will buy that other thing, which raises your average dollars per conversion. And so if you like, um, if you wanna choose one of these to start out with, I generally recommend that you choose one that you have some sort of, um, some sort of, what's the word? Uh, some sort of affinity for, or some sort of experience with. So this one, for example, is a weight loss offer. So if you've ever wanted to lose weight or you have lost weight, then you kind of understand the market in a better way than somebody else. So that might be a, a decent idea for you. This one's about uh, diabetes, I think. So if you've ever struggled with diabetes, then you know what somebody who has diabetes feels, like you know what it's like, and so you can, you can relate to those people. And then um, same thing like this genius wave. If you are into like, hacking your brain and being smarter, if that's what that's about. And you can look at this by categories too. So you can say, I wanna see, I wanna look at home and garden, like what's in there? And so I can see tedswoodworking.com. So if you're a woodworker or if you're a craftsman kind of person, then that might be a good one for you. And I've actually, I've promoted that one in the past and it's, it got, it did pretty well, but it's uh, people weren't really happy with it. So I stopped promoting it. It was kind of getting a lot of refund requests. Um, so, yeah, so I, I think I'll stop there for now. But what I would recommend is that you go ahead and choose a product on ClickBank and get a link. Now, you don't have to do anything with that right now. Just like go through the process, go and look through the marketplace. So you wanna set up an account. And then once you set up your account, click on affiliate marketplace, which will bring you over here. And then you can see all the offers and you can see them by rank and you can see them by gravity and you can see them by like dollars per conversion, right? So like this one, it doesn't have a high gravity, but if you do get a sale, it's a pretty big sale. So go through that and choose a product that you would be interested in promoting. And next week, if you guys are interested, I will get into a little bit more of how to promote it. So give me a, um, give me a three in the chat if that would be something that's of interest to you. Or, like, or give me a three in the chat if that would be interesting or a four in the chat if that's not interesting and you'd rather me do something else. <laughs> And if you give me a four, then tell me tell me what you would want to do instead. I'm seeing a few threes, but I'll give you a minute here. Christian says, does your YouTube ads mastery course have an affiliate program? Not at the moment, but it could. It, that's something I could set up very easily. If you are interested, then yeah, then then send me an email and I, I'll get you set up on that. Cool. Yeah, I see. I see unanimous threes here. So awesome. I'm glad. Uh, glad that was a good topic. I just kind of picked that out of out of a lot of them to see if people are interested. 
Cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next week. Same time, same place, same link. If you don't already, put it in your calendar so you don't miss it. And I will see you then. Bye, guys.